We create vision and the X Tool S1. Which one should you pick up? In the first category of safety, it's a tie. They are both class one type enclosures. You can see they both have lids that open and close. It helps with the fumes, but more importantly, you know, the X1s uh, or the <laughs> X tool, the S1, it's got a green lid. This is orange. What it does is it's got a special tint on it so you can actually look at the laser or look at the progress while it's working its magic. Another feature they both have with the safety is if for some reason you need to get into it while it's engraving, you just open up the lid and it'll actually pause it, um, do whatever you need to, and then you can continue. With safety out of the way, let's talk about the biggest, I would say, determining factor, and that is price. Right now, with this package of what I got with this, uh, the WeCrate, the Vision is $1,400. And so this is kind of the intermediate one. It's the one with the rotary tool. And I did that one because I have the rotary tool with the S1 as well. And with that same kind of intermediate package with the rotary tool with the S1, it's $2,300. So quite a bit of price difference between the two. So it begs the question on which features does the S1 have that the WeCrate doesn't? And one of those features is a camera, except it's actually the other way around. The S1 does not have a camera. It's the vision that does. Now, I'll fully admit, you know, I had the S1 first and how you actually position the laser or you actually set it up is you physically move it by hand. It's not that big of a deal. That is until you actually get a laser with a camera. Just, it saves just that much more time just being able to plop your material wherever you want. An extra bonus you get with cameras are if you've got a piece of material that you've already cut out a bunch of pieces and so it's not just a perfect rectangle or circle, well, you can actually, you know, nest your project within those used scraps just so then you can utilize every curvature of the piece that you're working with. Since we're on a roll with the vision, let's keep it going. And that would be the height adjustment. Yes, the entire laser module moves up and down according to the height of your project. Pretty sweet when you are switching lots of projects in and out with height stuff. You know, if you're just doing the same thickness or same, I guess, material, um, it's not that big of a deal. But where it does help out as well is when you want to use that rotary function. The S1, you need the riser base. So it's yet another addition or attachment that you need that lifts the whole base up. Uh, this guy, it's already kind of got the height in there for it. So you just plop in your rotary attachment and you're good. They both come with a 12 month warranty. So a wash there. And they both come with air assist. Definitely different designs. Actually, it flip flopped. That one's the X tool. That one is WeCrate. Uh, air assist, it just helps uh, clear out the fumes. It also helps cool down the laser or what you're cutting so you don't get a bunch of burn or score marks. And like I said, they're both totally different designs, but they both work. The back is very similar for both of them. You got your powers, your air assist, your cable connections, and you got the exhaust for both of them, each coming out the back. <laughs> Well, up to this point, you would almost think the Vision is a no-brainer. And so let's talk about some of the items that the S1 has that the WeCreate does not. The S1 has a one and a half inch bigger on each side is in width and length of overall project size it can do. The S1 can do curved surfaces. Now, not rotary attachment type stuff, you know, so both of them can do the tumblers and your cups and that kind of stuff. Uh, this would be curved surfaces like a bowl or a large spoon, I guess. I haven't actually tested out that feature, because I haven't had really the need for it, but it's there for you. Some people's projects, that's what they need it for. For those looking to actually cut thicker material, not just engrave on thicker material, but you want to cut all the way through it, the S1 has the ability to switch out the laser module between a 5, 20, or 40 watt. And I actually have the 40 watt in here. Now, don't worry, for the prices I gave you earlier, um, I did use the 20 watt price, so then it actually had the exact same uh, wattage laser in both of them. 
And the S1 has the ability to add a conveyor system. So that allows you to do not wider material, but longer. So with the razor base or riser base, you lift it up and then, you know, you got some rollers and conveyor stuff, and then it pretty much sends the material all the way through the laser. The similar projects that I've done between these two both turn out almost identical, which is what you would expect out of a diode laser of similar wattage. You know, there was no clear winner or, you know, one that couldn't do something that the other could. So it thus begs the question, which one to pick up? And I don't want to dodge the question, but it does depend. You know, are you a beginner and just going to be looking just to do those typical projects for engraving and cutting? Well, obviously the price tag for the recreate, we create, man, that's I think they were actually trying to go for we create, but either way, I don't know. The vision is kind of a no-brainer. That price tag is just awesome for what you get. Whereas some of you might need the longer projects done or, you know, your bowls. You've got those projects in mind and that's what you need it for. Well, obviously it's going to be the S1. That's all I got. Stay tuned for a lot more fun projects with these guys and we'll see you next time.